Hello, Daniel Gridi here, Product Manager for Service Graph Connectors. And today, we will show you the Service Graph Connector for Wiz. Good management of cloud assets is critical for operations, security, compliance, and cost management at scale. Service Graph Connector offers a gateway to connect Wiz and get its cloud inventory into ServiceNow CMDB, pulling data from cloud environments with minimal credential requirements. This will help the customers to manage AWS, Azure, and GCP resources from the ServiceNow instance itself. No agent is required to pull the data, and all the service graph connectors are CSDM compliant, are compliant with the common service data model, bringing a standardized format across the whole database. Today, we will discuss um, some examples of, of use cases and an overview of the architecture. We will demo our easy and streamlined configuration process. We will showcase the product documentation, which explains deeply the WIS types that Service Graph Connector is pulling and the SMDB tables that are created by it. And finally, I will provide a couple of examples of data in platform um, across ServiceNow and WIS. So the use cases that we can cover with Service Graph Connectors are many and WIS. Uh, most importantly, we provide visibility into cloud resources and state in near real time. For example, what are the relationships between service, infrastructure, and storage? We help to streamline security responses by correlating IT and security data. For example, which teams owns what, or which business unit could be impacted by a certain change. All this empowers use cases such as SecOps, vulnerability response, and incident management. Now, I want to give you a brief view of the architecture and the design on, on how ServiceNow dialogues with Wiz. So first and foremost, all this happens with, with a connection in which we provide the Wiz credentials, authentication token is given, so we make sure that we connect in a secure manner and only requiring the data that is needed. So we don't um, have uh, complicated permissions on your side and we only pull the data that are needed uh, so we don't have additional work on your machine. So um, through query filters, um, we send the API queries to Wiz, which in turn responses with data. We take this raw data from the API and uh, we send it to the robust transformation engine, which transforms and maps incoming data to a CMDB schema into an IRE payload. This IRE payload is sent to the identification and reconciliation engine, which is a framework that determines inserts and updates of data into the CMDB, about the duplication of data and incorrect updates. And then all the CMDB insert, all the CMDB data, once they have massaged and standardized, they feed our CMDB uh, record to make sure that everything is compliant, coherent, and consistent with all the data that you pull from the different uh, third-party vendors and actors. This is a list of the API components that we use. We only want uh, to use uh, the APIs that are strictly needed. And these are the permissions that, that are need to be enabled on the WIS platform, reproduct and resources, nothing else. Now let's proceed with a brief demo. I log in to my ServiceNow platform. I make sure that my application scope is Service Graph Connector for WIS. I navigate to Wiz and I start the setup process. So first, I want to highlight you this article, in which in this article we can find all the requirements to set up the Wiz environment uh, on the Wiz side, and then uh, um, the instructions to configure the connector on our ServiceNow side, which is what we will cover in this demo. Then I follow the steps in the guide. So I click Edit. I navigate to the Flow Designer. I open the Flow Designer. And in here, I set my uh, connection name. I set the URL. And then I insert my credentials from the WIS environment, the ID, the secret, and the OAuth token. The OAuth token has been retrieved successfully. And then I'm ready to proceed. I mark as complete and I continue. 
Here, I can set the projects that I want to retrieve from the WIS platform and also to exclude certain projects from the whole endeavor. I navigate down and then by clicking on projects, I, I type the IDs, separating them with a comma. One, once all is done and I've decided the scope of my um, operation, I macros compete and I continue. Finally, I test the connection. The module is always the same. I click on this link, test connection. The connection is successful. I macros compete and I continue. And this is the very simple configuration process that we have in place for Service Graph Connector for Wiz. Now I can schedule my import jobs and continue with additional personalization. All the import um, are done uh, at, at certain uh, time sets. And then on the base of these sets, we have a delta pool. So we only pull the additional data and we don't overwork the machine. Now I want to go back to the service now documentation. Here in the supported WIS types in the documentation, I see the whole list of all the WIS types that we pull. If we go down, we can see subscription, we can see the virtual machines, and we can see the databases, for example. If I click on cloud database, it will put me in, the, in another chapter, which is the target tables. So what we have taken for WIS, how do we format it, how do we frame it into the service now tables. And here I have all the list of the labels, the attribute name, and the with attribute on the other side, a sort of translation, if you may. And here on the right, I can navigate to all the tables that we have created. You will see Google sources, Kubernetes clusters, storage from snapshot, virtual machines and such. For example, we to look at the virtual machine, we see the name, uh, the, the CPU, the disk information, the memory, the instance ID, and all the, all the other data that we pull. So this documentation is your guide for the translation and see um, how um, so our ways uh, sources then translate to ServiceNow tables. Now, finally, I want to give you a couple of examples in platforms. So talking about virtual machines, I open my virtual machines record on my CMDB in ServiceNow, and then I can see the, the whole list, name, ID, class, CPU, memory, disk, the install status, and indeed the date on, in which it was downloaded, and the discovery source is coming for service graph connector from Wiz. Here, open, in my Wiz instance, I see the same uh, sources that, um, that pass across. In this case, we have all the virtual machines that run in Azure. So for example, if I want to see a specific one, I can click on uh, the name, I can search for it. I, can, I find this virtual machine called Ubuntu. I open it, and here I can see all the data and the relationships that matter to this virtual machine. So all the storage volumes, the load balancer, the resource groups, it, 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 where is this hosted for the Azure data centers uh, and which accounts it is connected to. Also, if I go up, I see the CPU and the memory. I do the same here with, and here I have Ubuntu one, the same virtual machine. I see indeed that it is run on Azure and of course, it's running on Linux. I see the same IDs and subscription. And again, the memory and the CPUs are the same. Memory, eight gigabytes, and two CPU. Another example are the server data that we pull in. Similarly, we have the ID, the class, the serial number, the operational status, CP count, if it's virtual or not, and their install status. And finally, last examples are the Kubernetes cluster data that we pull. ID, class, install status, and of course, when they have been updated. So for example, let's look at this test, AKS. And here I see other data, all the relationships with the nodes, the pods, the load balancers, the containers, all the Kubernetes stuff. Uh, it is hosted in, in Azure and is connected to this account. In Wiz, I have um, a, a small set of these clusters. And if I click on test AKS, I see the same data. It's running on Azure. 
these are the subscription data, and it's indeed in Azure Kubernetes server. So this brings us to the end of our demo. Uh, to recap, uh, we have seen a simple and straightforward integration between Service Graph Connector for Wiz and ServiNow with a easy setup and connection. It is compliant with a common service data model, bringing a standardized format across the CMDB that is also consistent with other cloud connectors. We pull data on a variety of assets from virtual machine to Kubernetes clusters covering the major cloud providers, AWS, Azure, and Google Cloud. All this updates your SMDB with cloud inventory, so it empowers use cases such as SecOps, vulnerability response, and incident management. Thank you for your attention.